ओम भूर्भुव स्वह तूर्वरेण्यम भर्गो देवश्वीम दीयोना प्रचोदया ओं शाति 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 नमस्ते माय डियर फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट आत्मा साक्षात्कार और सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन दैट इज डायरेक्ट अवेयरनेस ऑफ द सेल्फ महर्षि रामना सेज दिस इज द डायरेक्ट अवेयरनेस ऑफ द सेल्फ ग्रेसियसली एक्सपाउंडेड टू गुहा बाय ईश्वरा हिमसेल्फ शिवा द फोरमोस्ट एंड फर्स्ट लॉर्ड seated as the self in my heart that shiva further says one guha i shall tell you about a different way to reach that reality which pervades partless in all to settle the to be grasped by the mind so this is a reality mind cannot grasp and understand the spiritual realities spirituality can be understood only our atma or you can say pure mind and pure mind is nothing but atma when the mind is directed towards the soul atma the self residing in the spiritual heart that mind becomes pure when the mind is very near to our atma it is pure and it becomes finally atma itself to by which the knowledge of awareness is well attained knowing which is to become shiva himself what has not been told any by me today from me that wisdom here see in reality there is no separate entity like atma and parmatma atma and parmatma are the same our atma residing in our spiritual heart is parmatma himself residing there when we are understanding and convincing ourselves with this reality we becomes pramatma 3 handed down by the lineage of gurus and beyond the can of logicians this is for liberation from the bondage of the birth death cycle its supreme vision shines at all places fourth he who is the one pervading all things he who has manifested as all he who has faces in all directions who is beyond thought who remains himself as all the verities and transcends them to is the self our self is omni potent omni present omni scient we all know that god is omni scient omni potent and omni present and also we know that our atma is god 
himself. So our Atma is also likely to be omniscient, omnipotent and omnipresent. 5. He transcends all verities. He is beyond the reach of speech, mind and name. I am that Shiva Self. Thus you should meditate with perfectly undifferentiated mind on Shiva. 6. Firmly established as the eternal entity, imperishable and undifferentiated, the all-pervasive partless knowledge that cannot be fathomed by the mind, it shines with nothing prior to compare. 7. Without stain, indestructible, the totally sharing, the knowledge of transcending all objects, beyond the pale of thought, conception and doubt, that supreme I am, no doubt about this. 8. That supreme divinity, Shiva, indeed am I, of the nature of all the mantras and transcending all the mantras. Devoid of dissolution and creation. 9. What is visible, what is invisible, the moving and the stationary, all these are pervaded by me. I am the Lord of this universe. All shine because of me. Tenth, filled with a variety of forms, one different from the other, filled with a galaxy of words, all this universe from Shiva down to the earth are all established in me. Eleven, whatever is seen in the world Whatever is heard in this world, whatever shines, conceptualized as inside and outside, all these are pervaded by me, the all-pervading one, realize this. Twelfth, though Considering himself the self, he desires to attain that Shiva, the Supreme Self, as one apart. Whoever completes on, contemplates on Shiva, thus in delusion, will not attain Shivahood by such contemplation know this 13 shiva is the other than i i am other than shiva uproot this attitude of differentiation i indeed am shiva this conviction that is non-dual ever practice. 14. Full of this non-dual conviction, he who everywhere abides ever in the self shall see in all things, in all bodies, only that Shiva Self of this, there is 
no doubt 15 whoever has this conviction always of the one self shall rid himself of delusion and dual perception that yogi will attain to omniscience so it is said in the vedas this you should know 16 he who is praising he who is praised in all scriptures as the unborn the ishvara that formless and attributeless self he indeed am i there is no doubt about this 17 only he who does not know his true nature is the jiva that is subject to the dharmas characteristics of birth death and so on he who knows his true self is one who is eternal he is the pure he is shiva without doubt know this 18 hence what man of discrimination should and quire carefully and directly realize is the self that itself shines twofold as the transcendental and the inferior divisions the gross and the subtle <coughs> 19 the supreme nirvana is the higher the inferior is manifest as the creation mantras are spoken of as its gross form what abides in changeless awareness is the shuttle 20 shanmukha without realizing it atma what avails explanations there of in endless ways tell me all these are only a wonderful display of words the cause for the illusion of the mind 21 all the dharmas qualities abide in the self whichever of them the individual self jiva imagines whereby he concentrates his thoughts again and again on it he will attain that object there is no doubt of this 22 thus has been told by me as the knowledge of the self what has been gathered succinctly in a condensed form all by any means is of the nature of the self realizing this may you ever be strengthened in the thoughts of the 
self 23 the deities the vedas the fire sacrifices the various gifts to priests in the course of their performance none of this exist there in the nature of the self be tuned to the blamelessness omnifaceted steed fast knowledge of the self 24 to the jiva drowning in the vast ocean of the birth death cycle and seeking a refuge what affords a refuge is only that knowledge of the self not anything else know this 25 he who becomes of the nature of the supreme and realizes it as it really is self though experiencing all changing states attain liberation without effort be aware of this 26 there is no great blessing anywhere apart from the gaining of the self meditate ever on the self he who is the self he indeed is the one all pervasive supreme self be aware of this 27 it is not the prana vital air nor the apana the air that travels down even nor the instruments superior even to these the senses mind and such reach ever for the thought of the self that is the omniscient and perfect 28 it is neither inside nor outside not afar nor nearby nor does it fit in any place that supreme is formless all pervasive and effulgent direct your thoughts ever to it 29 it is across above and below inside and outside which are divisions ever established firmly everywhere in the void the self luminous self ever meditate on that more and more 30 not a void not a non void it is also the non void and the void pervasive pervasive everywhere but without predilections ever think of this self 31 afflictionless and without any sport for itself bereft of caste name and form 
that taintless attributeless self you should unceasingly meditate upon 32 with no refuse with nothing to support it beyond the range of comprehension without parallel faultless by nature of the eternal the self that is so meditate upon it joyfully forever 33 embracing dispersion and thus desisting from all karmic activity shying away from society one should thereafter ever meditate upon the self within oneself in oneself by oneself be aware of this 34 country and lineage the traditional caste and style of life affecting various thoughts arising in the wake of these the wise man should meditate daily upon his real nature 35 this is the mantra this is the deity this is indeed what is called meditation this indeed is tapas casting afar all such thoughts concentrate on the nature of your own self 36 the self is without thought make it possible for the thought oriented mind to think at all make the mind that thinks to get settled on the self let not the mind think of anything else 37 the self is not something that can be thought of nor is it something that cannot be thought of it is not thought itself it is indeed itself thought what does lean towards any of the above the supreme that is the self ever meditate upon it 38 meditate ever on that which is beyond the reach of the mind allowing no refuse for the mind the joy that is attained in abundance in that self that is beyond all verities and complete 39 without any differences and beyond the reach of thinking without any president without anything similar that which is 
the utmost frontier and extolled as the supreme bliss be immersed in it 40 discarding all desire for objects destroying the moods of the mind the non dual state of being the one when the mind ceases to be is the one called supreme bliss 41 all directions all places all times are conductive for the yoga of the self so say the scriptures differences of caste and orders of life and such cannot cause any differences in the least to the nature of knowledge 42 the color of milk is one the colors of the cows many so is the nature of knowledge observe the wise ones beings of various marks and attributes are like the cows their realization is the same this is an example we should know 43 reality brahma intimately pervades all it shines with faces in all directions established in it without a pause think not of differences such as regions and directions 44 in this world itself there is no mark lifestyle or tradition for the one who becomes of the nature of the self he has nothing to gain by any action of his no action need be performed nor any injunctions prescribing actions apply to him know this 45 moving or standing or sleeping waking or taking food or water in the face of the wind the cold and the sun unaffected will he be in any state at any time 46 fear in the in the indigence sickness burning fever indigestion even when all these effect one established in the self peaceful and shining fully he is never at his wits end on any count he will savor the satisfaction of the self 47 whether 
going forward or returning i am not the one that moves when ten quad into there is no going or coming in the ever changing dharma of prakriti the cause of illusive creation i never was emerged nor am i now 48 all activities prescribed are the work of prakriti the illusion prakriti so spoken of is the source of all action i am the immaculate i am the actionless thus indeed will reflect the wise man the knower of truth 49 for him there is no bondage of prakriti the delusion he has earned the name of the liberated one he shall never be touched by the defects spoken of as the action of prakriti 50 the manner in which a lamp shines destroying darkness with its light in like manner by destroying the and developing darkness arising from inexplicable ignorance the self of the nature of pure light of knowledge shines 51 even as the lamp with the fuel of ghee spent attains peace the yogi continuously contemplating on the truth of the self will be at peace in the self nothing greater is there to be attained then the self this is the truth 52 when the pot is carried the space within the pot though conceived of as carried is not the pot only that is carried the self to like space remains motionless 53 when the pot breaks the space in the pot merges one with the great space when the inner body passes away the self seemingly in the body becomes immediately one with the supreme self 54 thus the lord who is omniscient 
spoke with authority then one who is liberated severed from all bondage becomes all pervasive and less with absolute awareness 55 discarding totally all the agmas attaining the pure samadhi of atma yoga realizing by due enquiry there is nothing else greater than this destroy all wrong ideas in the mind of differences 56 meditating continuously on the great knowledge thus that yogi who attains ever the bodiless nature that pure gyani whose dharma is the dharma of that bodiless nature alone is the liberated one shining inside and out reaching across to every place 57 omniscience and bliss and mature wisdom remaining independent limitless strength attaining all these he signs ever the self without afflictions with an immaculate body he as the self merges in shiva 58 japa of the name worship bathing in holy waters ritual sacrifices none of these or others are indeed the fruits of dharma and adharma water oblations to forefathers none of these are for him 59 no injunctions for observance no fast nothing required by way of getting into or out of any action no vows of celibacy for him no this 60 not having any recourse to falling into the fire or water or falling from the mountain top enjoy the feast of the knowledge of shiva eternal and pure rid of the rules applying to all creation move about as you please 61 i tell you this is the truth the truth the truth thrice over there is nothing greater than this nothing greater 
is there to be known, nothing at all, nowhere ever. 62. Read of any blemish, read of ignorance with pure intellect, being the pure self, by the pure conviction that all that is seen is pure, meditating on the immaculate nature, he shall attain awareness. So, this completes these very important quotations and utterances regarding the knowledge of Atma or Atam Sakshatkara or of self-realization. Thank you for watching this wonderful video. Please like, comment and share the video. Namaskar my dear friends. Thank you.